Out of all the chakra centers, I answer the most questions about the throat and the heart, followed by the solar plexus and the belly area. But the throat is this doorway. It's the doorway between the third eye and your heart. It's the doorway between this higher grace and your, your, your earthly humanity. And the throat chakra does this very interesting thing. Most of us live in a way where our throat is closed. Now, when we think of the throat chakra, we think of expression. The throat chakra is the avenue of expression. People often think it's the throat that's doing the, expre- the, doing the expression. But where is the root of the expression? Well, if it's true expression, it comes from our true heart. If it's not a true expression, it comes from our human heart, which is full of our pain, our sadness, our grief, our anger. Or the other untrue expression is the confusion of the mind. And so when the throat chakra is open and flowing smoothly, there's this doorway that comes down from above, grace coming down through the top of the head, through the third eye, into the heart. And the heart has its own wisdom, which is connected with this higher wisdom. And it speaks its truth. It expresses itself. Our actions are in alignment with truth. Our speech is in alignment with truth. But for most of us, especially those who struggle with unworthiness, or those of us who grew up in a household where we felt as if our consciousness was squashed, oftentimes our throat chakra is closed and we've used it as a doorway to repress our pain. The throat chakra is also one of the seats of the superego. Let me explain what I mean by that. One of the jobs of our superego is to repress, is to make sure that we are a good little boy or girl, it's to make sure we don't get in any trouble, it's to make sure we don't rock the boat. And so one of the things that the throat chakra does, if we, we are living and experiencing the throat chakra center simply through the lens of superego, is the superego represses pain down into our body. Say, for example, you are a child and you are being wild and crazy and your father walked in the room and told you to shut the hell up. Immediately, you probably clenched your throat swallowed that pain or sadness down within you because there was probably a very real part of you, human part, that wanted to cry, that wanted to express yourself. But you knew in that moment, if I did, if I expressed myself, then my father would probably tell me to shut up again. He would probably give me a really hard time. And so as a way of protecting oneself, we clenched the throat chakra and swallowed and repressed that feeling deep within us. Some of us as a child, we were reaching out to our mothers and she didn't come. And so we just learned to close that throat chakra because it was too painful to admit that she wasn't going to come, that our mother wasn't there for us, that we were terrified. Because if those feelings of terror came up and bubbled up into our mental mind, we might have the feeling that we were going to go crazy. For some of us, this happens, you know, on the playground. We are just being ourselves as a child. And the bigger kids come along and they make fun of us. And we, we learn to, to repress ourselves, to repress our nature, our human nature and our divine nature. It's very unfortunate. And so then we don't speak our truth. For some of us, we are pleasers. And so we are always letting someone else go first. 
It's another way of not listening to your heart, not honoring your heart, and closing the throat chakra. For many of us, you know, perhaps we were at a school play and we made a mistake. And everyone laughed at us. So we closed the throat chakra and repressed those feelings within us. So it's a very common thing on this earth to have a closed throat chakra. And when we do so, what happens is, is our body becomes this dumping ground for pain. It becomes a reservoir for our pain. But let me walk you through this doorway of opening the throat. and You begin to see and experience what happens. So as you take a deep breath through the mouth, And really feel your throat opening. Immediately, what many of us feel, yeah, I can see that, what many of us feel is this energy from our heart, perhaps an old pain or emotional sadness, starts to come forward. And what many of us do, if we have a strong superego, is you feel that, you feel that clench. So you open the throat, And that energy of old, repressed, emotional pain, it wants to start to come through. And for many of us, when we feel that, we clench there and we swallow it back down. So if you want to heal, if you want to be open, if you want to have this flow of energy between the, the head, the third eye, and the heart, there must be this willingness to have that doorway open. If you're carrying around tremendous pain or trauma from the past and you want to heal, this doorway must be open. Because if we study emotions, if we notice what emotions need, emotions need to move. So again, as you take this deep breath through the mouth, and you feel the throat open, see as I do it, I start to laugh because I can feel some old emotional energy moving through. And it starts to relieve itself. It starts to empty itself out. And so it takes a sense of faith, a sense of trust, a sense of willingness to receive pain. To trust that it's okay to allow yourself. You give yourself permission to cry or to release or to smile. To let go. And so we're letting go of that which is old into the present moment, the safety of the present moment, the silence of the present moment. We're giving our old emotional pain back to life. We're admitting out loud, I don't need to carry this any longer. I've carried this for five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's okay to open our heart and allow this energy to flow. Now, for some of you who have a little bit of, uh, we'll call it congestion in your mental mind, Sometimes as we open the throat chakra, the mental mind is filled with memories of the past, stories of the past, judgments from the past. And then that energy can kind of get stuck there in the head. And so one of the reasons the throat closes is because the throat knows if too much energy comes through me at once and I'm not clear in my head, then I'll just re-traumatize myself. This story will just kind of spin in my head. And so some of us have a throat chakra that's a little bit open, and that energy of emotional pain, it comes up into the head and just spins circles. But the willingness here today is the willingness to open the throat, open the heart, and allow this energy just to empty out of us without thinking about it. And so the trick is, can you feel the emotional pain from the past? Can you acknowledge it fully? Can you validate that it happened without thinking about it, without judging it, without saying, oh, I don't like this, this shouldn't have happened, without being afraid of it? A lot of people, when they open the throat chakra, they immediately begin to feel fear. What that fear is, it's just a lot of energy moving at once. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to harm you. It's just a lot of old repressed energy that's coming up through the throat and it wants to empty out of you. 
But the mind interprets it as, this is too much. I can't handle this. I need to swallow and repress that energy back down into the heart. And I'm smiling because that doesn't heal us. What's healing is that willingness to be completely open, completely vulnerable. Breathe and feel the pain of the past. When you feel an emotion fully, it heals, it releases, it empties out of you. When you feel it a little bit and start to think about it, then it just starts to recirculate itself. So it's that willingness to feel it fully and not think about it. And of course, if you do think about some of the things that happened in the past, don't beat yourself up. It's very difficult not to, to remember something and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. But there's this funny thing that's happening. When you start to think, I can't believe this happened, this wasn't fair, that's actually a subtle and sophisticated form of egoic repression. When we think about something, we actually take an emotion and kind of like put some distance between us and it. Or rather, we, we repress it down, we think about it, and we say, it's a lot more manageable if I just think about my experience versus feeling it. But if you can be courageous enough to feel that emotion, so again, open the throat chakra and feel that emotion, emotion starts to naturally release. It starts to empty out of us. And so it's this willingness to feel it, to experience it, and to let it go. Let it go. And again, if you have lots of thoughts, don't be discouraged. Continue feeling and see if you can stick with the feeling. And so this is good. And so some of the practices you can work with for keeping the throat chakra opening, open, excuse me, is the first thing is to have a mindfulness and awareness about when you clench your throat. If someone cuts you off in line, do you clench your throat and repress that your, that feeling down within you? Or do you give yourself permission to speak up and say, hey, excuse me, I think I was next. It doesn't have to come from a place of arrogance or place of ego. It's just that willingness to speak your truth. It's also the willingness to tell the truth in every moment. So that's number two. If you want the throat chakra to be open, you must tell the truth in every moment. And the truth being the truth of your heart, not the truth of your ego. Those are two radically different things. So the first step is having a mindfulness and awareness of when you're clenching your throat, when you're repressing energy back within you. Number two is speaking your truth always, the truth of your heart, not the truth of your ego. The truth of the ego is quite different than the truth of the heart. Number three if we're working with keeping the throat open, the willingness to sing, willingness to dance, willingness to be yourself without self-consciousness, to let the walls and the barriers go between you and your heart, to be yourself in the world. It's a big part of having an open throat is expressing yourself again from your heart, not from ego, but from your heart. Number four is that willingness to let go of judgment, Number five, the willingness to feel everything within you. One of the main reasons the throat chakra is closed is because we are unwilling to feel what's within us because we're terrified of feelings. But to be awake and open, to experience oneness, we can't have this division in our throat chakra. We can't have a division between anything within us we have to be willing to feel and experience everything within us. Now, as a kid, sometimes we learned, again, like I spoke in the beginning, not to feel, not to experience. But as an adult, we must come into the present moment and see it is safe to feel, it's safe to experience, it's safe to let go. And after we've emptied the pain out of us, we notice it's easy to listen to our heart and to express our truth in this world.